Today we are answering the internet's biggest questions regarding Aptera, the solar electric vehicle. And to find those questions, we go to Google and we just simply type, will Aptera and let Google auto-populate what people are asking. So this is what people want to know. Will Aptera succeed? Will Aptera qualify for a tax credit? Will they make a four-seater? Will Aptera make it to production? Will Aptera go public? Will Aptera have autopilot? Will Aptera be available in Canada, Australia, and when will Aptera deliver? Today, we are answering Your those questions. Yeah, Your internet. Questions. This is for you, internet. <laughs> and Let, thanks for watching, internet. Thanks for watching, by the way. <laughs> so let's get started. Sarah, will Aptera succeed? Yes. Well, okay, moving on. I certainly hope so. <laughs> we definitely think they will. And if you stay to the end, we'll tell you why we think that. Very compelling evidence at the end for that. Good. So let's move on to the next one then. Will Aptera qualify for a tax credit? So as of now here in the United States, we have this tax credit for EV buyers. And as the law is written right now, today in November of 2022, nobody qualifies as we understand it. It has to do with where the materials come from, how much of the car is built in this country. We don't know if that law is going to change or if the wording is going to change. And also, being a three-wheeled vehicle also pushes that Terra out mm -hmm. of the tax credit. But we're thinking that some of those things will change. And some states have their own EV credit. So make sure you're looking at where you live. Yes. Moving on, what's the next question? We have, uh, will Aptera make a four-seater? That is a great question, Internet. I'm so proud of you for thinking of it. I, in fact, thought of it myself, and I asked the CEO, Chris Anthony, that very question. Here's what he had to say. Will we see a multi-seater, more than two-seater edition, like a four-seater edition down the um, road? We are talking about bigger vehicles. We think that... Um, the aerodynamics, uh, lightweight, efficient powertrain, solar powered is extensible to many different types of vehicles uh, and we'll look to that in the future. I think we uh, do probably have a, a three passenger variant uh, of this that's probably pretty easily um, achieved. Uh, but as soon as you get into four or five passengers, that's kind of a different vehicle platform altogether. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that that's uh, in the near future, but uh, in the future, we definitely plan on trying to make the world of transportation more efficient in general. And we do that by having uh, vehicles that are more capable for storage and passenger uh, compartments. Awesome. I want my two-seater Aptera. I would love to get a four-seater Aptera down the road, but I'll take my Aptera as soon as I can get it. I do appreciate what he said about a three-seater. It seems like that's a pretty, I don't want to say easy, nothing's easy, but an easier modification to make to the current vehicle to add a third seat, then of course to restructure it for four seats. So right. there's your answer. In the future, probably. Moving on, will Aptera make it to production? Well, yes, we hope, but it's not based on nothing. Just look at a year ago today, Aptera had three rolling prototypes. That was it. Uh, alpha models, they call them. When you, they're beautiful, fast, super cool and comfortable. But they're chunky and they weren't dialed in. But a year ago is when they started, in fact, it was December of last year, 2021, they started to assemble the beta model, which would become the test vehicle. They would take to the racetrack and they would try to, you know, get it to flip over and test all the suspension. So that was just a year ago. Now they not only built that, but they took it to the track, they thoroughly tested it, and they used that data to make the Gamma, which was just released. This is the third edition of the Aptera prototypes that was just released this past September, which we had the privilege of sitting in and seeing work. I mean, it's a working prototype. The solar on the roof was working in September. Now the solar on the hood is working to actually charge the battery. So will they make production? Oh, yes. I mean, this company has done nothing but march forward in this process. So we are very confident that probably by the end of 2022, we will at least see the completed design for the production car and in 2023, maybe they'll start rolling off the line. So we'll have to make production. Yeah. Seems likely. Sure. Let's move on to the next one. Next question. Will Aptera go public or become a publicly traded company? Good question. It is a good question. And the answer is that is the plan. However, 
If you are interested in investing in Aptera, if you see the future is bright with them or you feel it is, you don't have to wait until they're publicly traded in order to become an investor in Aptera. All you have to do is go to their website, which is aptera.us, and at the top of the screen, hit invest, and that's going to show you what the current offering is. And as of right now, it's a minimum investment of $1,000, and then you the current trading price is $10.50. Not trading, because it's not publicly traded, but the current investment price. So there you go. Will Aptera have autopilot? Now, we love to drive, but this question is obviously important. It's on your mind. You don't want to drive. You know, you want to read a book. I don't know what it is you're doing in a car maybe if it's they, not driving. Maybe they just want a little mechanical assistance to make driving a little safer. I get that. Okay, maybe. Okay, well, look, here's the answer, and this is how you find the answer for yourself, too, if you want. Go to aptera.us and then act as if you're going to pre-order the car. You don't have to do it, by the way, to get this answer. But you probably should. But you should, probably. <laughs> So at the top, just hit reserve now with a big green button and then go ahead and choose a color. Pick the black one. It's just the best color. And then pick how many, how much range you want. I recommend the 400 mile range because that'll be made first. Get the full solar because it makes sense. Get all wheel drive because why not? The black and orange interior is the only one that matters. Now here's where you're going to find out. When you go to continue, you'll get to the extra add-ons and here's safety pilot. Travel is easy as Aptera drives itself to your location with level two autonomy capability, which includes facial tracking, lane keep, adaptive cruise, and emergency braking. And it's gonna cost about $1,300 as an add-on. So is that autopilot? That's debatable. You know, I don't think you're gonna be able to take a nap in the back of the car anytime it's soon. It's safety pilot. But it is safety pilot. So that is your answer, internet. Yes, Aptera will have safety pilot. The next question is, will Aptera be available in Canada, Australia, and when? Here's your answer, as far as we know. Yes, great question. When we're in the US and when we log in, it tells us that we can expect delivery between 2023 and 2024. I know that's a pretty wide margin, but as we had mentioned earlier, if you get the 400 mile battery pack, those are gonna be in production first. So that will make a difference what bet, what your choices are that you have made might make a difference on the delivery date. As far as if it's gonna be available in Canada and Australia, our understanding is that Aptera has a global view. So first deliveries will be to the U.S. reservation holders, and then after that, they're planning to go global. So I do believe that it will be available in Canada and Australia and the rest of the world. And they have been accepting pre-orders from other countries. So you can go in and you can pre-order your Aptera if you so choose, and then you're in line for when that happens. Great question, Internet. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Now back to the first question. Will Aptera, you can say it, which was? Will Aptera succeed? And we said yes. yes. And here's why we think that. On the Internet, you can find no end, and here on YouTube, no end to EV startups out there. And some of them, they don't have an actual car, but just like computer mock-ups, mm -hmm. and they start raising money on computer mock-ups. Mm -hmm and then eventually they just go away. It does happen. I mean, nobody probably intends that, but it's a tough business to get into. Aptera, on the other hand, not only do they have, I think, five now rolling prototypes, we've personally been in them, we've ridden in the Aptera, we've met the CEO, we've been in their facilities, we've been in their offices, so I can tell you this, it's a very real company. It's a very real vehicle. And we think they will definitely be successful. But more than that, Sarah, they've had some successes recently that kind of give us even more confidence. Yeah. yeah, they qualified for a huge grant from the state of California to um, towards production, which is the a $20 million grant, I believe, as well as they have filed some paperwork with the SEC for another investment of upwards of $20 million. So these are, and then there are other investors, small investors, I think 15,000. 15,000 people have put their money. Where, where their mouth where, Yeah, where their where interest Tara's is, where cars are. Cars are. So, <laughs> you know, I would say 15,000 people can't be wrong, but of course that's not true. Of course they can be. <laughs> we can be, yeah. but 15,000 people believe enough to put money down. That's a big deal. And some of these investors are tens of millions. Some are a thousand like us. Yeah. Okay. And, and Aptera has taken a very thoughtful approach 
as they have moved forward towards production, including a streamlined production ability, pre-ordering some chips, which is great because in this um, economy, it, there are some holdups with things like yeah. getting chips for your vehicles. So it's slowing down the car industry, but Aptera is uh, putting themselves in a strategically good position. For sure. And, and ink some really big, important deals. Things that you don't think about, maybe like wiring harness. They inked a deal for that. The batteries, they know they've inked a deal to get the batteries. The, uh, the motors, the in-wheel motors through LFA, inked that deal. They actually have the final one created for just for Aptera already there. The uh, body, the mm -hmm. body structure is going to be made the same place where Italian supercars are made. That's a big deal. That's a big partnership. Also, they brought on Monroe and Associates from our beloved Michigan. Yes. And uh, Sandy Monroe, you might know this, you might not. He's kind of a genius when it comes to how to produce cars. They made a deal with another Michigan company, Red Viking. Mm -hmm. It makes little autonomous robots there where you, you put the vehicle on it and it drives it to the next station to get built. Uh, Terra's the real deal. A big thank you to our members again. You're the ones that keep the lights on here in the studio slash second bedroom at Drive the Lightning. <laughs> And thank you to Stephen Dunn, again, who sent us these really cool stickers. Yeah, if, thank you. Can't yeah. wait to put them on our Aptera. I know, it's going to be great. And if you want to buy these stickers, uh, you can go to Facebook Marketplace and just search Aptera stickers. And you'll find them right away. And you can buy them and put them on your Aptera or your Geo Metro, whatever you're driving. <laughs> it's just as cool. Because they're fun they're really stickers neat. either way. So that is the internet questions about Aptera. Tara, I hope this helps somebody out there. Let us know in the comments if we wasted your time or if you learned something. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you are interested in electric vehicle news and stuff like this, just subscribe. It costs zero dollars plus change, you know, <laughs> zero dollars plus tax. But we sure would appreciate it. If you want to learn more about... There's no tax. There's no tax on zero, <laughs> right. but you can say it's like 20% tax. It wouldn't matter. It's still zero. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos about Aptera, I will put one on the screen right over my face.